Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to run or execute Python code using the interpreter. There are several ways and we'll take a look at each of them. If you want to test some basic concepts or execute just a few Python instructions, you can write and execute them directly in the Python interpreter. Here, you have two options. The first option is to open the interpreter from the Windows command line or uh, cmd.exe and write all the Python instructions there. Even if this works perfectly, it isn't the recommended way or at least not for beginners. That's because it lacks the advanced features like auto-completion or color highlighting of keywords or errors. It will be harder for you to write your code here. However, this is how it's done. Go to start, type uh, cmd and uh, hit enter. Now I'll write uh, python and uh, press the enter key. The python interpreter has just started. Here we can execute python instructions. The second option to execute Python code using the Python interpreter is to use IDLE, which stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. On Windows, IDLE comes by default with the Python installation, so it's already there. To open IDLE, just type IDLE in uh, the Windows, Linux or Mac start menu. And you'll see something like this. This is a Python shell or interpreter where you can write and execute short scripts and see their output immediately in real time. Each line starts with uh, three greater than signs. This is the idle command prompt. Throughout this course, when we see three greater than signs, we'll know that the code has been executed in Python idle. Let's write something very simple print and uh, hello python in parentheses and double quotes. Now let's do something else. x equals 6 x times 2. What have I done? I've just declared a variable called x that is equal to 6 and then printed out x times 2. In Python idle, it's not necessary to use the print function to see the value of a variable. You can just type its name and hit enter. We won't focus right now on variables or other Python programming concepts. We'll have a lot of time for that in the next lectures. For the moment, I just want to show you how to execute Python statements in idle. If you want to execute a statement again, you simply go with the arrow keys to that line and uh, press the enter key. And we can see how that statement has been copied on the last line. I can modify it and uh, run it again if I want. Another useful feature is the autocomplete or word completion. The application will predict the rest of the word a user is typing. This time I'll declare another variable that stores a string, which is a sequence of characters. Name equals and between double quotes Andre. And then I'll write name and a dot and I'll wait. Idle will open up a pop-up window with all methods and attributes available to the string objects. Let me say it again. For the moment, don't focus on the language, but only on Python idle. You can change the completion pop-up wait time by going to Options, Configure idle, and uh, Windows. Change the completion pop-up wait time, which is given in milliseconds.
Other options, like uh, the font size, can be changed in this window too. Also, keep in mind that you can run many simultaneous sessions of idle as you want, without one interfering with the other. I'm opening another idle session. They are completely separated working environments. In our course, we'll use idle only for small tasks and examples. For complex scripts, PyCharm, which is probably the most used professional Python IDE, will be our choice. I'll show you how to run your scripts in PyCharm in the next video. I'll see you soon.